Now, in this video, we are going to take up one more problem on projections of laminars. How to solve this problem by using, how to analyze this problem and also solve by using the manual sketch. So to do that, the problem reads as a regular hexagonal lamina of sides 25 mm is lying in such a way that one of its sides on HP while the side opposite to the side on which it rests on VP. If the lamina makes 60 degrees to HP, draw the projections of the lamina. How to consider the initial position? First, we should look at the surface inclination, whatever it is given. The lamina makes an angle of 60 degrees to HP. So that means the lamina is inclined to HP. So in the initial position, make the lamina parallel to HP. That means make the lamina uh, 0 degrees to HP. And also he says, the side uh, is such a way that one of its sides on HP, the side which is resting on HP has to be perpendicular to VP. So we have to apply these two conditions. Since it, the surface makes an angle of 60 degrees to HP, so we have to make 0 degrees to HP. That means it is parallel to HP. So where we can see the parallel to HP, I can see parallel to HP in the front view. And also we can see when you uh, so, since we need to start the problem from the top view, so where exactly the top view? The top view will be on the horizontal plane. Therefore, you need to start the problem from the horizontal plane. Now, to do that, so first initially we will go to the initial position. So, we have to start the problem from the horizontal plane, that is from the top view. So, first we should have a hexagonal lamina placed in such a manner that one of the sides is perpendicular to VP. If you make perpendicular to VP, that is AF and CD, both the sides are perpendicular to VP. Therefore, when you look from the front view, you will going to get the point here and also the point here. So now, if you look from the front view, I can see all the sides are lying on HP. So therefore, that means it is parallel to HP. Since it is parallel to HP, so we are getting the true length in HP, that is 25 mm is the true length of the hexagonal lamina. So therefore, in the initial position, when you look from the top view, the hexagon is placed such that one of the sides is perpendicular to VP. And since the surface is perpendicular to VP, therefore, when you look from the front view, you will going to get a line in the front view. So what is the position of the surface with respect to both HP and VP? The surface is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Since it is parallel to HP, so we are getting the true shape in HP and since it is perpendicular to VP, you are getting a line here. So when you look from the top view, we can see A, B, C, D, E, F all are visible. Therefore, you will get a hexagon of 25 mm side. And when you look from the front view, A, B, C is near to the observer. So A dash, B dash, C dash is visible. D, E, F is away from the observer. Therefore, d dash d dash f dash is invisible. So how to write the initial position by using the sketch code? So first we are going to draw the xy line and you mark vp and hp. So in order to draw the hexagon in the horizontal plane, first you draw one vertical line of any length. Consider any point on that particular line and by using the compass take a radius of 30 and draw a circle. Once you draw a circle, then what happens? The circle will go to cut this vertical line at this point and also at this point. You mark those two points as B and E. With B as center, taking the radius of 25, cut an arc on the circumference of the circle on this side and also on this side. Similarly, with E as center, take the same radius of 25, cut an arc on this side and also on this side. So you will going to get 6 points. You mark them as A, C, D, F. Then join A to B with a dark line, B to C with a dark line, C to D with a dark line, D to E, E to F and F to A with a dark line. So you will go, this is how you will be able to write the uh, hexagon by inscribing, inscribing the hexagon in a circle. What is the radius of the circle? The radius of the circle is 25 mm. So then, 
from A and F to draw a vertical projector to the XY line. Similarly, from B and E, draw a vertical projector to the XY line and from C and D, also you draw a vertical projector to the XY line. Then, as you look from the front view, ABC is near to the observer, so A dash, B dash, C dash is visible and DEF is away from the observer. Therefore, D dash, E dash, F dash is becomes invisible. So, as we have seen that you are drawing the line between AB and BC. Similarly, you join between A dash, B dash and B dash, C dash with a dot line. So, this is all. You will be able to write the front view and as well as the top view. So, what is the position of the surface with respect to both HP and VP? The surface is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Since it is perpendicular to VP, so in VP you are getting a line. Since it is parallel to HP, so in top view you will going to get the hexagon, which is the true shape. Now, then what he says, it is resting on one of the sides on HP. Which is the side which is resting on HP? The sides which are perpendicular to VP. Which are all the sides which are perpendicular to VP? AF and CD are perpendicular to VP. So either you can rest it on A dash F dash or you can rest it on C dash D dash. In this case, what we have done is we are resting on C dash D dash is on HP. So then what we are doing is we are rotating the hexagon in this position what we have which is the surface which is inclined to HP by 60 degrees. As we rotate this in three dimension such so that the CD is on HP, then what happens? The surface will be inclined to HP at 60 degrees. As you look from the front view, since the surface is perpendicular to VP, you are getting a line in this, which is inclined at 60 degrees to HP. So to this, I need to write the top view. When you look from the top view, the projection of AF and B and E will be on HP. So you will go to get A, B, C, D, E, F and E. So again, this becomes a hexagon. Since it is perpendicular to VP, so in vertical plane, you will go to get a line which is uh, A dash, B dash, C dash, which is visible. D dash, E dash, E F dash is invisible because D, E, F is away from the observer. Who is the observer here? The front view is the observer. A, B, C is near to the observer. So these three are visible. D, E, F is away from the observer. Therefore, that becomes invisible. So, in this particular position, the side is resting on HP. Which side is resting on HP? The side which is on XY line in the front view. Which is the line which is side which is on XY line in the front view. Which is that point that is C dash D dash. So, that is, uh, so this is the top view of uh, the second position where the surface is inclined to HP and perpendicular to VP. Therefore, you are getting a line here. And as we see, A dash F dash and C dash D dash are parallel to HP. So, AF and CD are in true length. A dash B dash and B dash C dash and D dash E dash and E dash F dash all are inclined to HP. Therefore, AB, BC, DE, EF are not, will not be in true length. It will be in apparent length. But whereas AF and CD will be equal to 25 mm, it is the true length, and all other four edges are less than the true length. So it will be always less than 25. So this is how you will be able to analyze the second position, front view and top view. So how to write that? So when you extend this XY line and you consider any convenient distance between this point to this point and you take a point here and you mark that point as C dash and D dash. Then by using the compass with C dash D dash as center by measuring an angle of 60 degrees in the clockwise direction mark a point then from this point join that point and extend which will going to be inclined at 60 degrees to HP. Then by using the compass you measure the distance from C dash to A dash with C dash as center cut an arc on this 60 degree line and you join and mark that point as A dash and F dash join between A dash and C dash with a dark line then you measure the distance from C dash to B dash 
with the same center of sigma dash cut an arc on this 60 degree line and you mark that point as b dash and d dash so then i need to write the top view draw a vertical projector from a dash and f dash to the top view and also from c dash d dash to the top view then draw a horizontal projector from ac and fd both these two lines will going to intersect at these two points here a and c and here d and f mark these points as a c d f similarly you draw a vertical projector from b dash and d dash to the top view draw a horizontal projector from b and also from e both these two lines will go into intersect at these two points and you mark that point as b and you mark this point as e join e to b b to c c to d d to e e to f and f to a with a dot line so what is the position of the surface with respect to both hp and vp the surface is inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp therefore you are getting a line in the front view since a dash f dash and c dash d dash is parallel to hp therefore you are getting the two length here since ab and b a dash b dash and b dash c dash and c d dash d dash and d dash f dash all are inclined to hp therefore ab and bc de and ef will be in upper and left so after this the side opposite to the side is resting on vp which is the side opposite to the side the side which is resting on hp is cd opposite to that side is what ef that should lie on vertical plane so what i need to do is i need to rotate this in a clockwise direction and keep ef on the vertical plane so you can see that a dash f dash is on the vertical plane and cd is on the horizontal plane as you look from the front view a dash f dash is already on uh, vp and you project this b to the vertical plane and e to the vertical plane therefore b dash and e dash will go to get then when you look from the front view c is on this side so c dash will come here d is on this side so d dash will go to come here then you join between a dash b dash b dash c dash c dash d dash d dash c dash e dash f dash and f dash f dash so you are going to get a hexagon there similarly when you look from the top view so what happens a will be on hp a a f will be on the vertical plane when you look from the top view it will be on the horizontal plane and similarly draw a vertical projector from b and also from e which is in space to the horizontal plane therefore you are going to get a hexagon a b c d e f and a so this is how you will be able to analyze this problem in three dimension how this the gray portion whatever you have is the one actual position of the hexagonal lamina now how to write this so so what i need is the side opposite is the side on which it rests is on vp which is the side which is resting on hp the c dash d dash is the surface a uh, sorry line which is on horizontal plane the side opposite the side is what a dash f dash so this side so which is that side af so af should be on the vertical plane so how to rotate this you rotate it in clockwise and keep af on the x y line so you take a, you take a compass you measure the distance from a to f take any convenient distance between c dash to that point from here you cut an arc on this and and you mark this point as a and you mark this point as f then draw a vertical projector from both a and f to the top view then you measure the distance from a to c which is the same as from f to d from a cut an arc on this uh, perpendicular line similarly from f on to this perpendicular line then you mark this point as c and d then draw a you measure the distance from a to this point from a you cut it here and also similarly from f also you cut it here on this vertical projector then join these two points and extend it on either side then as you know this is the point what i am talking about you measure the distance from this point to b which is the same as from this point to e so to do that since you know this this point Uh, by measuring the distance from this point to b by using the compass which is that point here that point is here 
from this you cut an arc on this side similarly with the same distance from this point of ac line cut an arc on this side cut an arc on this side and you mark these two points as b and e then join a to b b to c c to d d to e e to f and f to a with a dot line then i need to write the front view so to write the front view draw a horizontal projector from a dash and f dash draw a vertical projector from a and f these two lines will going to intersect at these two points you mark that point as a dash and f dash and draw a horizontal projector from b dash and e dash and draw a vertical projector from b and e to the front view and these two lines will going to intersect at this point and also at this point you mark these two points as b dash and e dash then uh, you draw a vertical projector from c to the x y line and d to the x y line because c dash to dash is on x y line you mark that point as c dash and d dash then join a dash to b dash b dash to c dash then d dash to e dash e dash to f dash and f dash to a dash through a dot line so how do i this is how you will be able to write the solution by using this calculator how do i know that my problem is right the side opposite to the side is resting on vp which is the side opposite side is resting on hp c dash d dash opposite side is which one which is a dash f dash that should lie on the vertical plane that means the in the vertical plane that is in hp the line should be on x y line if the side is resting on hp in the horizontal in the vertical plane the side should be on the x y line so then the side which is resting on hp is here c dash d dash and which is the surface is inclined at 60 degrees to hp and and you have a hexagon of 25 mm so this is how you will be able to analyze and solve this problem by using the sketchbook thank you